um, this afternoon, and I want to present to you a bond. A bond is a, a new variable which we invented at Quamicorp. Uh, Quamicorp is a global innovation agency, and um, we run. Um, this is one of, our, of the many startups we are running currently. Um, before I start to talk about the project and the variable by itself, I want to lead you a little bit through the situation we have right now. Um, we're seeing this data, this data is from 2013, so slightly outdated, but still it's, uh, it's highly relevant. Uh, when you look at the variable market and the situation we have nowadays, we can see that um, there is kind of a contradiction in our world. We have a huge hype in the media, um, and in the news, so we talk a lot about variables. We saw just on the, lay on the last on the, on the presentation before me, um, it will go into variables, but we don't have the market adoption. So we just saw that, uh, how many people are actually using a variable, and it's not that many. So if you look at the landscape of variables in total, 96% um, uh, activity trackers. And if you look at, in, in the whole world of activity trackers and quantified self, that is the, probably the poorest adoption of variables we can imagine. Variables is so much more. So um, yes, Google Glass is coming. It doesn't come as a bang, it comes as a whisper because it was launched, like I think, two weeks ago. Nobody really noticed. It's now available public. Um, smartwatches are on the uh, coming as well. Uh, Samsung released several. Sony is in it. Um, there's a new Android version. Um, Still, there are not many people using it. Pebble was a huge uh, success in Kickstarter, but there's not really the mass market adoption. It didn't happen yet. Um, and we have to ask ourselves, why is that? Well, what are the reasons for this? And I want to shed, I will try to shed some light on this. Um, there's one thing uh, we uh, strictly believe in, um, and this is the, the old theme of Highlander. There can only be one. Uh, if we talk about physical variables on our body, like which we were outside of our body, not talking the implants and all these things, um, it will be very cumbersome if we have several of those devices on our body. So you can imagine, there's, my wrist only has that much space. If I have to wear two or three of them on one wrist, it becomes already awkward. If there's a glass on top and with all these different functionalities, each of those devices has to be charged. Uh, each of those devices has a different application on the mobile phone, and each of these applications I have to learn and has a different user experience. That is not user experience which is sleek, which is, uh, which is nice. So um, the ideal case would be only one variable. Um, smartwatches. Uh, smartwatches, we know there's um, a lot of companies trying to go into that space. Um, I don't want to um, talk too badly about smartwatches, but from our own experiences, smartwatches are difficult. They have one huge advantage, they are versatile. So they are not, not as the typical activity trackers, they only follow one function and they are, have an immutable form factor. Smartwatches try to ease that up because you can install new software, you can install new applications and they become kind of more adaptable to your lifestyle. The problem is it always feels like um, assembling a spaceship through a keyhole. It's always this tiny, tiny little user experience where you have you install the app, then you have the same buttons, you select, 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 and then you execute, and then you eventually, after three or four or five different interactions, you can access your music player, you can uh, access all kinds of different functionalities. Very cumbersome. Um, the other big mistake which is made all over the place, the variables are ugly. They are just not beautiful enough. And that's something which is hard to accept, because this is something I, I use on my body. That's something I have, I'm, I, I adorn myself. So uh, I believe all people are beautiful. So if I put something on my body, it should make me even more beautiful and not be something sweat resistant, something hyperallergic and something I would rather use in a hospital but not in my daily life, right? Um, so why don't we make a jewelry? Jewelry is the biggest success case ever, I mean, Made, maybe besides clothing as, as, as all, but, but uh, we use jewelry all uh, since, since centuries, right? And jewelry is, doesn't do absolutely anything, right? There's no technology, there's no extra function, it just makes us more beautiful. So variables have to be absolutely beautiful if you want to make them a success case. Um, this is Bond. Uh, unfortunately, it's half eaten by the sofa, but maybe if you look at the small screens, you can see it. Um, there is, uh, it is a modular variable system. That means uh, it is totally adaptable. You can add new modules 
do it, and you can adapt and augment the functionality. Um, there is one brain module which does take care for all the communication with the mobile phone. So there is the, the, the BTLE chip, there's a vibrator, there's some, some, some LEDs for, um, for communication. And uh, one of the other core modules is the display. It's a very low resolution display just to show you the most uh, necessary information. And one of those reasons is we don't want to compete with the phone. That is something very important. The phone is always with us. So if you read at the statistics, 98% of the people have their phone um, all the time in their next proximity. Even when we sleep, it sits beside us. Why do we want to go away, which is, which is smart, which is usually doing, trying to take over functionality from the smartphone? That doesn't make sense. The smartphone is only two seconds away, I take it out of my pocket and I do everything what I want. What we want, yes, is notifications. Notifications and some certain things, they are important. So. The, the concept and the philosophy we are going, we want to augment the mobile phone, but we don't want to replace it. The mobile phone is just too good and it's just too close. Um, on the next slide, um, I show you some of the possible use cases and it makes it a bit easier to understand. So if you think about all the modules we can add to this, we can create a whole ecosystem of variables, but all neatly and nicely together in one single variable. So we can add our car key, very relevant for places where we use the car a lot, like in the United States, for example. Uh, we can add a music player, a music player, which is one of the modules, and this is, would be the big difference towards the smartwatch. This module would always be there at one place, and it enables me to do a blind use case. So I don't have to go, I don't have to enable, I have to, to tap until actually I can access my music. I just can go blindly there, and I know where the module is, and I execute and I can use it. So something very quick, something which takes me uh, less than a second to actually enable and to use the variable. Uh, payments, uh, in big cities where we have, uh, like in big cities like London where we have uh, uh, all this wireless and this, this NFC enabled payments, um, it's, it's actually a no-brainer just to use it and to swipe it, obviously. It's very easy just to add another module on your variable. Uh, of course, there's a watch, uh, and you can add extra batteries if you really want to have a very long um, life of your, of your power. Um, and of course, Internet of Things, those are just a few examples, you can, I mean, the, the sky is the limit, right? Um, we also thought about what do you get out of the box, so we needed some strong use cases um, that you buy it, and even if you, if you want, don't want to buy extra modules, so what is great about it, using the variable just as it comes. Um, the big thing, um, what variables are really useful for, we believe, is notifications. So right now we are way too addicted to our mobile phones. We spend too much time on the phone. There's uh, statistics that the average user takes the phone out of his pocket between 120 and 150 times a day. Uh, we believe we tipped over that's not healthy because there's, there's just too much notification that it makes us anxious, it gives us uh, in Korea, the doctors talk about digital dementia, that because we process too much information, we have too less time actually to enjoy life and to, to feel free. So this is um, part of our design philosophy which is behind. Uh, with, Bond, um, with Bond Touch, um, you will be enabled with only the most important notifications and only from people you really want to have the power to surface onto your arm, onto your wrist. And this will enable you that you have the peace of mind that you say, okay, I can leave my phone in the pocket because when something really important happens, I will feel, I will feel it on my, on my wrist and I will know what's going on. So I'm not losing out, but I'm still cool. Um, identification is great. Um, as we saw 140 times, 150 times, we take our phone out of the pocket. Um, this is for, uh, especially for Android phones. Um, it enables you not to have a security code, not to have a four or five, six, uh, five, uh, four or six digit uh, security code. When the device is near to the phone, it will be automatically unlocked. When it leaves a certain parameter, the normal, uh, the normal authentication process jumps uh, back into place. Uh, find my phone, or we call it also phone on the leash, is a nice use case for people who, who tend to lose their phone. So as soon as the phone uh, gets more than 20 meters away from the variable, uh, there will be an alarm and you say like, oh, go back to the restaurant, your phone is still on the table, or it's still in the cab. Um, this is one module. Um, the next module 
um, which is really dear to me, which is um, something very emotional and also goes a bit back to the to the to the last presentation. You remember this this um, this last phrase from Steve Jobs. We have to put the human factor back into variables and back into technology. And only when we put the human factor into technology, then it's something which will really shine. Um, we call this the bond paired module. And the bond paired module is um, is a thing, is a one-to-one -one communication channel. So this, I have, uh, works usually in a, in a romantic relationship that I use the same module as my beloved one. And it works in a way that when I touch it, I send a little tickle, and as it is a one-to-one -one communication channel, this little tickle will arrive at my beloved one. And with this little tickle, I can submit so much information. I say like, I'm connected with you, I'm thinking about you, I love you. And when you have a lucky day, you might even get something back, and a relationship is synchronized. Um, there's also the use case that you can send a bigger nudge, so it's something, uh, five it sends you like a, really a strong vibration, and you know, oh, it's late, I'm still in the office, and probably she has dinner at home, so okay, she doesn't have to go to Skype, or she doesn't have to call, because I know already, just by this little notification. Um, of course, uh, we have uh, the technology, we have uh, protected this very well, so we have the, the patents pending on the system. This is the software. Uh, the software is very clever, so uh, the software will detect automatically which modules are connected to the bracelet, and the software will reveal you automatically the, 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 the interface to enable you a very sleek um, and a very thin uh, user experience. Uh, in the end of all your applications, you will see there will always be a suggestion and then say like, hey, there is a new, a new um, module out, out, out on the market, uh, why, don't you, why don't you look at this and you might want to buy it. Um, we were um, able to get a great team on board uh, for this project. Uh, one of them is Lily Cole, um, um, a supermodel and actress. Um, she will champion and she will be our VIP brand ambassador. Um, we have, and this is one of the big statements we have, and I was very lucky that I got this guy on board, this Eric von Buren Wright. Um, he was the, for 23 years, uh, the designer for Karl Lagerfeld, uh, for Cavalli, for Fendi and Chanel. He did amazing stuff, especially in the jewelry branch. Um, he joined our team as a, as a partner, and he's right now in Italy uh, fine-tuning and designing uh, the, the device to make it in a way that it's really a timeless, and beautiful high-class jewelry. Um, this is not the finished product, but this is just the latest snapshot um, of our prototype. If you want to be, if you're interested, I have also one prototype with me, which is a jewelry, which is a bird that come to me, I will show it to you. Um, and that's it, uh, this is Bon Touch. Um, thank you very much.